3 and 1 you can't do anything with, r and s squared you can't do anything with. You go back to your exponent laws, right? <clears throat> When you have a fraction of any kind with an exponent on the outside, you apply the exponent to the top and then the exponent to the bottom. So the way we're going to write that and make it clean is we're going to apply this to the numerator. But the numerator is a complex thing with 3r. We're going to raise that to the third power and then we're going to apply that to what we have here. s squared is the denominator which has to be raised to the third power. So right now the 3 would get applied to the 3 making it 3 cubed, the r would get that exponent applied as well. But on the bottom, it's an exponent raised to an exponent, so it's 2 times 3 is 6. And then finally, what is 3 to the third power? 3 times 3 times 3. So 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27, r cubed over s to the 6. And I know you might want to do more with this because you don't like all those exponents, but you can't. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.